Robin Hood Wins the Golden Arrow Robin Hood and his followers were the best archers in all of England. They practiced daily to improve the sk their skills. Robin Hood was the best of all. Times were bad in England. Cruel lords became rich by taking, taxing the poor. Sometimes they took everything a family owned. Robin Hood and his men would steal back the gold taken in unfair taxes. Then they gave the gold back to the poor people. The sheriff of Nottingham hated Robin Hood. He wanted nothing more than to catch the outlaw and hang him in public. I'll hold a great archery festival, said the sheriff. We'll give a prize of gold-covered arrow. Robin Hood won't be able to stay away from the contest. When he comes, I'll arrest him. Robin and his men disguised themselves to go to the contest. Robin was dressed in the tattered clothes of a beggar. Still, his friends were worried. This archery contest is a trap. The sheriff and his guards will know you by your hair and eyes. Robin Hood just laughed. Why, I can color my yellow hair with walnut stain. I can cover one of my eyes with a patch, so my face will look different. A bit of danger will make it all the more fun. A crowd gathered for the contest. The sheriff looked for Robin Hood, but did, he didn't see him anywhere. In his beggar's clothes, Robin Hood stood not ten feet from the sheriff. The sheriff did not recognize him. The archery targets had been set up so far away that it was difficult to see them clearly. Dozens of archers took turns shooting just one arrow. Only ten of them even hit the target. The sheriff glared at the ten remaining men. Couldn't one of them be Robin Hood in disguise? he asked a guard. No, sir, said the mat man at arms. Six of them I know well. Of the other four, three men are the wrong size. That leaves only the ragged beggar. He, his hair is too dark for him to be Robin Hood, and he is blind in one eye. One by one, the archers aimed and let their quills fly. Each of the arrows struck near the center of the target. Then Robin Hood, who looked to everyone like the poorest beggar in England, shot his arrow. It hit every center and the crowd gasped. And so the tattered beggar won the gold-covered arrow. The sheriff's face was sour when he awarded the prize. You are the best archer I have ever seen, he said. You shoot even better than the co that coward Robin Hood. He dared not show his face today. The sheriff's words bothered Robin Hood. I just can't bear to have him think I am a coward, he told his men upon leaving. I will let the sheriff know I won his fine gold-covered arrow. The sheriff was glum that night at supper. I thought I could catch that thief with this contest, he said to his wife. I guess Robin Hood was too much of a coward to show his face. Right then, a shaft flew through the window. It stuck, a, it stuck straight into the roast on the table. The sheriff unfolded the note that was attached to the arrow. The note said that the beggar who had won the contest had been Robin Hood. The arrow was the very same arrow the sheriff had, sheriff had covered in gold and given as a prize, but Robin Hood's men had scraped off the gold and kept it. The sheriff was very angry. Nearby, Robin Hood and his men had never been merrier. Number one, part A. What inference can be made about Robin Hood's relationship with the Sheriff of Nottingham? A, the Sheriff of Nottingham and Robin Hood had always liked to trick each other. B, Robin Hood thinks it's funny to outsmart the Sheriff of Nottingham. C, the Sheriff of Nottingham is frustrated that Robin Hood keeps getting away with his crimes. D, the Sheriff of Nottingham is jealous that Robin Hood is a better archer than he is. Number two, part B. Which paragraph from the text best supports the inference made in part A? A, paragraph two. B, paragraph three. C, paragraph four. D, paragraph five.
Number three, read the sentence. One by one, the archers aimed and let their quills fly. In the context of the sentence, what does quills mean? A, disguises. B, arrows. C, prizes. D, targets. Number four. How did Robin disguise himself? Select all that apply. A, he dressed as a beggar. B, he changed his hair color. C, he changed his eye color. D, he changed his voice. E, he hid his face. Number five. What inference can be made about Robin Hood's point of view of the Sheriff of Nottingham? Use key details from the text to support your answer.